Okay, this is a bit annoying, guys. I've put the action camera down with all the footage from when I uh, picked up Jen from the train yesterday. I can't find it, which means I haven't been able to make the two uh, vlogs that I've got over the weekend because I used the action camera predominantly for those. And I'm looking around. I cannot find it. I've got to find it. I don't know where it's gone. I need it. This is really annoying. It's going to be here somewhere. Hang on. Oh, bloody hell. Right there amongst the stuff that Jen's brought back. Well, at least I found it. That's the main thing. again and, uh, meeting a resident about a planning issue as you do so we get on with that Jen very kindly drove us here and she's gonna wander off I think check out the uh, various shops while I go to work so it's a team effort let's go to it it's been an interesting meeting and now I'm going down to the town hall with uh, the other half who's finally back from Scotland it's wonderful to have her back even though I kind of enjoyed a bit of time on my own it's all right. Very interesting meeting. We've got to do some follow-up phone calls on it. And uh, after that, oh, wind's getting up again. After that, we're going to wander down into the town and uh, get some photos done for Jen because uh, she's got some interesting photos from her time away. And we're going to put them onto our cool wall. So you've enjoyed it then? Thoroughly. <laughs> Thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm so happy there. Oh, sorry. I got so used to talking to cameras that. I didn't actually notice you putting a camera in my face. Now we can go and see the uh, the guy with the model railway. If you want. See this? She's doing so used to it that she's basically always on. Theatrical now. So, how, yeah, this way. How am I supposed to make a proper personable vlog when she is doing theatrics at every chance opportunity? And once again, I am here in the house in the dark, so let's turn the light on, but there we go. Still not very good light, but we'll get there. Back from my meeting. There we go. Back from the meeting, and it's been an interesting uh, meeting. Got a few phone calls to make now, and then some paperwork to do, and then I've got to go out for another meeting at 7 o'clock. It's The day is full again. I'm looking forward to getting all of this over with so I can have some time off. I am worn out. 
absolutely worn out. I did pop in the CEX because Jen came with me and we picked up a few things. First of all, Rugrats Treasure Hunt uh, unboxed uh, N64 cartridge. I think it's uh, the only time that it turns up that particular game. So we picked it up because it's... Uh, I'll pick up exclusives, I have no problem with that. Ape Escape 2 on the PS2. The uh, case is Xbox, but I need a replacement Xbox case anyway. No manual, so I'm going to swap that out with a uh, actual PlayStation 2 case and then swap the case into one of the Xbox things that needs a replacement. I've got it lowered down there. So yeah, another. Ex I think this is reasonably exclusive. Super Tennis on uh, Master System. There is a one called Super Tennis on Super Nintendo, but it's much later, so I don't think it's the same game. So we picked it up. It's uh, box this time, not mint. So I don't mind the fact that the manual isn't in great condition, but it's all here and uh, looks pretty good. And uh, yeah. Starting a Master System collection now. Another Xbox exclusive, Morrowind. Been looking for this for a while. I want to try it because I played it on the PC and absolutely loved it. It's not the Game of the Year edition. It's uh, the standard one. So there is still a Morrowind Game of the Year with all the extras. I need to find at some point. But got the original one. We can play through that. Loved that game. It was great. Battlestar Galactica on PS2. Everything appears to be here. Ice cream van outside. I'm not going to go and get one. I am starting to watch my weight again. And uh, Cold Fear, final game, PS2. So I've spent a reasonable amount, a bit more than I was wanting to this month, but sometimes you see things you think, well, that's not going to be there when I get paid, so I'll go over what I was planning to do. I'm still within the uh, 100 quid budget, but I didn't want to spend that huge amount this month, but oh well, <laughs> these things happen. Sometimes you see things, you've just got to have it because it won't be there when you come back. Right, now I've got to get on with work, so let's get to do that. Guys, here's a turn up for the books. It seems that I was informed that a planning inquiry that I want to speak at starts tomorrow, but actually it starts today, and I've missed the first day and therefore may not be able to speak because I was out uh, helping residents with uh, their issues, and which is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. I've missed the opportunity to help other residents with issues, so I'm a bit annoyed now. I'm going to have to find out what's going on, why is this miscommunication happening, and can I actually still speak at this inquiry? It's very annoying. Also, I'm about to head out to a meeting now, and I can't take this uh, camera with me because the batteries are literally about to run out, so I've pretty much just got to rush off now. So, ugh, I don't know how much I'm going to have filmed today, but oh well. These things happen. It's just been a mess today, as you can probably tell. Right, I better get on. Okay guys, it's going to be another late night. I've got a lot of work to do. As you can see from uh, this, I've got a load of casework and all these folders and it's about planning. I want to go through all the stuff for the Bolands Hay appeal, which I want to speak at tomorrow, providing uh, Jen has a problem at the moment, she's got an allergic reaction and if it's not cleared up in the morning, then we may end up in taking her to the doctor or the hospital. It's nothing massively serious, but it looks like something bitter while she's up in uh, Scotland and her ankles have swollen up quite badly and so is her foot. So it, it's it's a concern, but it's not like life-threatening at this point, but it has to be dealt with. So as long as I don't end up having to take her to hospital and stay with her for that, then I want to speak at this bone here, a, a appeal for planning, which means I need to have my facts right. But I want to go over it again now and make sure I've got everything clear in my head, which is why I'm staying up at midnight to make sure I've got it all ready. I've got my laptop, my notes. I'm going to get it done. Let's do it. Whew, it's going to be long. And in case you're wondering why, I'm at the table in the dining room, well, the dining room library, you can tell all the books around, and it's a kind of combination thing. I've got, I'm at the table here so I can have paperwork around me all over and work spread out. I work best that way when I'm thinking about a lot of project stuff. So I'll do that here instead of up in the office where it's a little bit more cramped. But let's hope it gets through. Okay, let's do it.